What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lashana, with LE Style, and I'm sure you know by now that this video is going to be featuring this half wig by Sensational called Rule Breaker. She's a cutie, and if you're interested in finding out the deets on her, then stick around. <laughs> YouTube. It's your girl Lashana with LE Style and today I wanted to come to you with my first video. Hallelujah. Can I give God some glory for the first YouTube video being uploaded successfully? Finally. Uh, it's been a process y'all but nevertheless I am here and today forgive this but it is what it is. Of course, I'm coming to you, as you can see from the preview, I'm going to preview um, a half wig. Uh, that is what I'm here for today. I have uploaded um, several pictures uh, of a photo shoot, a little for photo shoot that I did for my birthday um, about a week ago, my 51st birthday. Again, I want to give glory to God for that. For 51 years, I um, am, am in good health. I have my strength. I have my mind. I am blessed in many areas of my life. But anyway, I'm coming to premiere a half wig that I have been asked about many, many times from all of the photos that um, I have posted on Instagram. And you can check me out on Instagram and feel free to follow me. Kendall is here. And uh, check your girl out. Um, I believe that you will be blessed uh, from the daily interaction and engagement. And I look forward to doing that with you as well. So today we're going to be featuring a half wig. Uh, many people thought that it was a full wig or maybe a sew-in or what have you. No, no, no. It was none of I don't do sew-ins. I like to be free and natural and just nothing on my head but my own hair when I go to bed at night. So, um, today we're going to be featuring this beauty. This is the Sensational Rule Breaker uh, Half Wig. It is in the color number two. It's nice and big and nice and full. You know, when the weather starts to change, I do like big hair. I like big hair anyway. And I'm on a natural hair journey, of course, and I'm desiring for my natural hair to get nice and big and fluffy. So that is uh, something that I'm looking forward to as well. But this one is a half wig. And I know you guys have been um seeing everywhere all the social media influencer and featuring and showing the new trend that's going on which is the headband wig well those headband wigs most of them that they are showing they are pricey they are very expensive i do not mind investing in um natural human hair wigs i have several i own several um but um in this case, I wanted to try something different. And I do see that other people have been doing it already. So I'm not saying that I thought of anything original, but I went back to the half wig. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this wig. Now I will tell you, this half wig, I will tell you that it has been worn. So this is not an unboxing in no way, shape or form. So it is already a little fluffy, but it does come out fluffy already. Um, a half wig basically uh, has two combs, one here, and this is actually the bottom of the wig. Let me turn this around. This is the front with this big wide comb, and then of course you have the back, and again, this has been worn, so you're going to see a little frizziness in some areas because um, here is the tag, of course. This wig is by Sensational, if I neglected to say that. Um, who makes wonderful wig products. You also have your band here to adjust um, on both sides. So basically this is it. The curl pattern really to me mimics um, like a straw set. I don't know if you guys, y'all remember straw sets, but it's a nice curl pattern. So basically, um, I left a little bit of my hair out. I have, I washed my hair today. 
Um, I did not want to go through the corn rolling or anything like that because I do intend on wearing my hair out this week. Um, so please excuse the way I put this up here, but this is what I did in order to simply um, be able to showcase and feature this half wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and I am gonna go over my hair. I did slick my edges not significantly because again, I just washed my hair. I really wasn't down for having a whole bunch of gel added to my freshly washed hair. I'm not going anywhere, um, honestly. So slicking down the edges severely or significantly was not in the plan today. But anyway, what I did was I took and I stuck the comb right here, very close um, to the edge, as you can see. And remember, you just have that one comb that's from about maybe to here to here. And so now I'm going to take it and tuck it in the back using the back comb so it can stay on my big head. Okay, so basically you have all of this now as you can see this is not coming up to the edge or anything like that really half wigs are not meant to be worn that way because they are a half wig generally with a wig like this you would take and have some of your hair maybe to try to blend it in or what have you my hair is nowhere near this texture my curl pattern is nowhere near this texture so when i got the wig half wig i did not intend to have any of my hair coming out in that capacity. I used to wear these a long time ago. I'm talking about maybe about 15 years ago. We're going back. I wore them a lot because back then, regular wigs, there was no lace front. That just did not even exist at that time. So um, I wore half wigs because I can take, could take some of my hair out and I could, you know, blend it in or what have you. And they weren't this elaborate and this fancy back then either. Okay, so again, you can see that we have all of this, all of this. And for me, that's fine. You know, I'm not trying to pretend like this is my hair or anything like this. I like to switch it up a lot. I don't like wearing the same hairstyle over and over. So I am very grateful and thankful for wigs, half wigs, full cap wigs, lace front wigs, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically, I have some bobby pins. Um, take my bobby pin and I am going to pull this as close as I can. Again, not to the edge, but I'm just going to pin it. I'm going to pin the sides. And really, normally when I do this, and if you can get the big long bobby pins, that would probably work better. It works best for me when I have a longer one than a shorter one. I'm gonna take this side as well and just kind of pull it uh, down a little bit. And I'm gonna pin this side too. And make sure you pin it, because sometimes you pin it and it's a little uncomfortable, of course. So just get it as comfortable as possible. Now you can pin it a little bit more. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You can pin it in different places, like pin it there and um, maybe pin it right here. Okay, so that's it. So we have just this little bit right here that's left and i'm going to show you what i do uh when i wear a wig like this and i'm not pulling any of my hair out and then we still have like this free edge right here this is what i do for uh wigs that i wear and i run into this situation Okay, so what I normally would do to address this right here is not nothing major or what have you, but you're gonna need a rat tail comb, good old rat tail comb. I couldn't find my one with the little skinnier metal one, but this is still a rat tail comb, so it'll still do the job. So you see how you have this edge right here and you have a little bit of your hair out right here. Normally I'll just do this in this one area because most of the other hair is already falling on the side. So I will take it and I will puff it up 
right here and puff it up enough to cover partially that little area of demarcation where the half wig starts. So if, and because this area, nine times out of 10, some of it is going to be seen. So that's what I'll do. I'll puff it up. Now for this particular wig, because it's so big, it's so fluffy or what have you, like I wore it um, in the pictures uh, that I had my hair, how I had my hair on Instagram. This, what I'm doing now is basically what I did. So I like to take it, not separate it like majorly, but kind of separate it to have it fall like you want to have it fall. So this right here, It's kind of like what I had in my pictures. Kind of like how the model has it, like here. So, and I'm just gonna fluff it out, fluff it out, fluff it out, fluff it out. Now, I did not brush this. I still haven't brushed it. Everything that I've done has been with my fingers. Um, I'm not interested in brushing this out and really disturbing the, the real curl pattern of the wig. That's me personally. Hey, of course you can do what you want to do. You can take it and brush it or what have you, but that was not what I was interested in doing because I do like the curl pattern and I'm trying to have it to stay, um, with that curl pattern as best I can without, um, disturbing it. Now, obviously this is a synthetic wig, half wig. So, I mean, it's going to start frizzing up. It's going to, and it's already started doing that. Um, it's going to have little areas where it's gonna look like it's a little froey, if you know what I mean. Um, because I'm messing with it, you know? And when I took my pictures, um, <laughs> that day in the backyard of, at my mom's house near the lake, it was windy. So the wind was blowing. I mean, it was a gorgeous, beautiful day, but the wind was blowing and it was flying. It wasn't flying, but it was blowing all over the place. So basically this is it. This is it. And this gives you a nice, little look for 15 bucks. I am a person, I, I, I like the look. Um, I want it to look like I did a whole lot to it or what have you. I want it to be a wow wig, but I want minimum effort with it. I don't want to spend a lot of time with the wig. So basically, if it's something that I'm going to have to manipulate too much, I'm really not down for it. Something like this and a headband wig, that is why I want to get one, would afford me the opportunity to do that. Now, this is it. I mean, these are down, no, if the wind blow, yeah, uh, yep, you, it's going to be seen, it's going to be shown. I mean, it is what it is, you know, and if you have a problem with that, then maybe this is not for you. But just to have this little area right here, basically, that's going to be showing. I mean, I was good with it, and the wind was blowing kind of heavily that day, and, you know, a couple of the pictures that had some of the hair, you know, up like that, but... I mean, it is what it is. It I, I, I've received many compliments on the hair. I've been asked a whole lot, where did you get it from? Who is it by? How much was it or what have you? And that was one of the reasons that I wanted to go ahead and get this filmed. Um, so I could, of course, uh, leave the information uh, in an area where a lot of people could access it. And then, you know, you can go and you can purchase it. But this is it. So I'm just gonna do a quick 360 for you. Um, this is the front, as you can see. And then we have the sides right here. And then 
we have the black the back and i'm sure you can see some of the little frizziness frizzy areas back here what have you but i have been wearing the wig and i'm going to turn to the other side this is the side so that is it easy peasy i mean you know minimal effort the most you had to do is maybe slick your edges. Like I didn't even do a whole lot of that. Um, and I told you why I just washed my hair. I didn't want to put a lot of gel product on my edges, but I put just a little bit. Tuck it in the front, tuck it in the back, couple bobby pins, couple bobby pins. And these, I normally don't even use these bobby pins right here. Um, and and, and take your red tail comb and just puff this up right here just to cover that area of uh, demarcation where the half wig starts. And that's it. I think this wig is, this half wig is cute, it's fly. Um, you can put a headband on it and let me just show you right quick. I did get a set of headbands off of Amazon. These are velvet. I'll leave the links, of course, for everything, the, the half wig, um, the headbands, and even my dress. It's a, it's a shirt dress. It's very comfortable. I'm really into these now. Let me just stand up and so you can see what it says here. Um, but it comes like a little half uh, right above the knees and and it has the little pockets right here. Very comfortable. I will leave the link to that um, as well. Uh, so you can check out my Amazon storefront and you can shop the headbands. You can shop the dress or what have you. Very inexpensive. Very reasonably priced. If you wanted to put on a headband with this wig. And it's still going to look cute. Now this of course would cover up the the band now in this case if i was doing this and wearing it like this then i would definitely have my edges slicked a whole lot more um but that's it this is cute too i haven't worn it like this yet but you can do it and this is the premise of the headband wigs that are so popular right now that you can put on a headband and you can just grab it, stick it on and go. So this is cute too, y'all. So you could do either way, but I have been wearing this one particularly just like this. So it does look more like a wig in which I can see how um, the people that ask, you know, what, which wig is that? Not knowing it was a half wig. But anyway, that's it. Um, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Um, I will leave all of the information below in the description, the links for the half wig, the links for the dress, the links for the headbands, cause I think these came in a six pack and this turquoise uh, color is very pretty in the velvet, of course, black. And I think I have three more that came in this pack. But anyway, I will leave all of that information for you below. If you're interested in how I did this makeup look, um, I will be more than happy to do a tutorial for it uh, for you. You can, you guys can just let me know. I'm going to be doing more of that anyway. Makeup, uh, makeup looks, of course, wigs, um, et cetera. And of course, going to sprinkle in some home decor and, and some inspiration in there as well as I'm led. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And also please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, so you will be alerted when I do come out with new videos that you can, you know, tune in and get your little plugs. And uh, hopefully this will be a growing relationship that we have here. I so appreciate you so much and thank you. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.